Hey guys, it's KJ for you, and welcome back to my Subnautical Let's Play. This is Season 4, we're on Episode 4, and I've done a little bit of grinding, a little bit of, um, of harvesting. Uh, you know, going out and, like, collecting stuff in this game is not, like, painful, but it is a bit time-consuming, so, um, I did have to do that. And we got, we actually got some stalker teeth while we were out there, we got a bunch of titanium, um, we got a few more, uh, a little bit of salt, a little bit of quartz, I made a couple glass. And what we're going to do now is we're going to expand our base. And the one thing I want to do about this base is someone said, put some windows in your base. And I totally agree. So let's go ahead and make some windows. And can you put them on the roof? Apparently you can put them on the roof. Interesting. I didn't know about that. Um, yeah, well, you know what? There's no reason to not have glass. Let's just put it everywhere. Right? I mean, we don't have enough for it there. Let's go ahead and put one right here as well. We don't even have enough to put it down. Um, I know we're going to need quartz for other things as well. But let's just go ahead and take all the quartz we have and make it into glass for now. And um, yeah, let's get some windows down. Because I agree, this place is very claustrophobic. Although inside, the windows aren't going to look quite as good. Because I'm you know, in the cave system. But um, I don't know, I might put some in there anyway. We'll see. Oh jeez, we don't even have enough for that. It takes three quarts to make one piece of glass, man. I think that's a bit much. I think they need to lower that to at least two. And I'd like to see it at one, but... There we go. And that should be all we need for this one. There we go. Alright, that's a good one because my Seamoth will be parked right there. Although, I don't like the way the, the, the glare works. You know? Like, the glare's a little bit much. But it looks pretty good. I like it. I like it. Can we actually put glass here? Window right here? I don't think so. Alright, well, whatever. Let's uh, let's expand the base. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come out and actually at night time, uh, actually probably within a few minutes, we're going to act, we're gonna go out and look for some more quartz. Um, I do want to look for quartz at night, so that's what we're going to do. But for now, let's come on over here. Let's put in a X corridor right there. Very good, very good. Then we will put in a L corridor, maybe? What do you think? Sure, why not? It'll be different. Um, then we'll put in another L corridor going the other way. Yeah, that'll work. And then we will put in an uh, X corridor here. Okay. Let's put in a hatch. We can put in a hatch on top, which is pretty cool. So we'll put in a hatch right there. We're not going to have the glass for it, though. See, it was just, just too much glass, you know? And what we're making all these expansions for, honestly, is because we need more storage room. So now we can come through here and go this way. And here we are in another storage area. So let's, uh, let's actually make our next storage area right here. Uh, we're going to need... <coughs> We're going to need lockers. Allergies are killing me. Um, yeah, so we're going to need uh, titanium for those lockers. That is fine. We have plenty of it. And we're just going to make one locker, and then we're going to go out and get some more quartz. I like hunting quartz at night, uh, like I said before, because it is a lot easier to see at night. Um, oh, you actually need glass for that. I didn't know that. Oh, man, we don't even have quartz. Unbelievable. Ugh. All right, we're going to take one of these away. Uh, what do I do? E? There we go. Yeah, I just need so much quartz, man. And I need this thing because i got to dump a bunch of stuff in it. There we go. And we need the rest of that stuff with us. I don't really need the builder, but I like to keep the builder on me anyway. Um, we actually need some food and drink as well. That's all the drink we have. Those are uncooked peepers. Well, we cooked the peeper. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we just need one. That's right. We cook the peeper as we need them, so that way we don't have to waste the salt. Cooked food. Peeper. Alright, so let's go ahead and drink that and eat that. And that'll be good enough for now. Let's get out there and harvest in the dark. 
Because that's when you can really see that quartz. And I have a feeling that quartz actually spawns more in the dark. Although, I can't really prove it. Is it? It's not morning already, is it? No, that would suck if it was morning. I don't think so. I know the nights are quick, but they're not that quick. One problem I have with this game is it's becoming a, a big grind fest game. Um, like, I just find myself grinding all the time. And it's not in a... In a fun way, it's not, I mean, I don't know, I think it's pretty fun, but I think it makes for a little bit of a boring video. So, uh, maybe I'll do a, maybe I'll do a, uh, what would I call this? A farm lapse, I don't know. I'm farming, I'm collecting, what would I call this? A collecting lapse? Farm lapse? I'm not sure what to call this, to be honest. But, um, either way, I'm gonna speed up the footage and put some music to it. You call it what you want, and, um, enjoy the time lapse. Okay guys, I'm back. I actually finished up the time lapse, but I kind of messed up on the fraps. Uh, so I came over here and I did some building before I realized fraps was not running. Um, you guys honestly didn't miss a lot, and I will show you what I did. I came back, I uh, organized my inventory a little bit, you know, nothing big there. And then I added on some more uh, areas onto the base, so let me show you. Alright, so as you can see right here, the base, um, right here is just some storage for the beginning of the base. Um, then right here is corridors going over here through here. I put a little hatch right here so I can get in and out for oxygen purposes. And then down here I have a little ladder that connects the base and has it go down here. And down here I just have some extra little areas right here. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of winging it. Uh, just kind of doing what I can. And uh, just kind of playing around with the game and, you know, just basically messing around. I have no real plans for this base. I'm just going to keep building and just, you know, have some fun. Um, I know you noticed, too, when I was out there, I did find a stasis rifle fragment, and um, I put it in the fragment analyzer. And there you go. It's being analyzed. And, um, yeah, that's that. So let's continue building the base. Yeah, I can't believe that. Right after I was done with the time lapse, I never did that. Well, I haven't done that, like, in a long time. It happens occasionally, but I don't do it much. Um, I actually... Uh, just hit the I just turned off fraps and I never turned it back on I what I normally do is I turn off fraps and I turn it back on to signify that the time lapse is over so but again you didn't miss anything a lot of inventory management stuff so I oh one thing I did do is I put some reinforcement here um the, the the bigger you make these bases the more you glass you put in the bases as a matter of fact I should probably do another one um the yeah the bigger you make them the more uh reinforcement you have to put in the base um I guess you can't put it on the ceiling that's interesting. You have to put it on the walls. Uh, can you put it right here? No? Hmm. Alright, well, fair enough. I'm not really sure where I want to put it, though. Uh, is this inside? New technology created. Can we put some... Can we put a window here? Do we have two glass? Yes, we do. Let's put a window here and see what we can see out of this. I don't want to block up the windows or reinforcement, but as you can see right here, that's a crappy window. So, yes, we will put reinforcement there, because why not? So yeah, so you put reinforcement, you can see right there at top left hand side, uh, plus, plus 7 to hull strength. So now the hull strength is 7. 
So yeah, uh, we do need some quartz. We gotta get some more quartz now that it's dark. Uh, see, I'm not sure if it's if it's morning or what. I think it's morning. Pretty sure it's morning. I keep missing the nighttime like an idiot. All right, well, let's just go this way. Oh, here we go. See, because of the hull strength being an issue, we had a, a breach. Easily fixed. Okay, so here's the rest of the place. Okay. Looking good, looking good. I'm not really sure what else to put in here or why I would put whatever in here. Um, I'm going to need a lot more quartz because I want to put, like, windows everywhere. Uh, as a matter of fact, we could probably put some glass in here somewhere. Mm, yeah, let's put some glass in here. Is that a good spot for a window? No. <laughs> That's probably building in a mountain, like, you know, there's really no good spots for the windows. But, if you don't need it, you just pick it right back up. Super so C, not this way. Oh, can you, you could probably put the windows on from the outside. What am I thinking? Yeah, let's just go put the windows on from the outside. That's, that's a much easier solution. Like, we'd want to put one... Can't put one on the curve. Uh, we could probably take this out and put one right here. It's pretty good. So you put one right here, it's just going to show the side of a wall. It's not going to show much. Um, this might be a good spot for one. Oh, we need more glass. Actually, you know what am I thinking? <clears throat> Let me take that out and put a... Can I put a hatch here? Yes, I can. I guess you could put hatches anywhere. Very good. That's a good spot for the hatch. And what's the whole strength? I can't tell. It should be okay. I hate the way this ladder was put down. I, I couldn't figure out a way to, like, to switch it around the other side. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I mean, building on the side of the mountain is really cool. Oh, another breach? Really? We definitely should not be having breaches. But, yeah, that's okay. Alright, what do I got as far as quartz? Yeah, I don't have any quartz left. Oh, what am I doing? Put this stuff away. Alright, not that I don't have any quartz left, that I just don't have enough. What we need to start doing is start thinking about a constructor. Now that we got the base underway, we've got plenty of storage in the base. Um, I do want to make this base, like make some sense like I do want a storage area a crafting area I guess it's all I really need is a storage and crafting area but there's not much to do in the bases unfortunately you're making them big you're really making them big for no reason um just for the fun which you know it can be pretty fun but you know that's gonna have to be something that's gonna be taken care of down the road I'm sure all right so we're gonna need a constructor so let's see what we got here um is it an equipment? No. Electronics? No. Machines. Alright. We need a titanium ingot and a power cell. Okay, we're going to need a couple power cells. As a matter of fact, you could see right now that the uh, power on this base is only 42%. Now, we don't want to wait for this thing to get down to zero. So, let's, um, let's go and make some power cells. In order to make power cells, the first thing we have to do is make a batteries. And we're going to need acid mushrooms and copper ore. So, there's none of that in there. Uh, none in there. Oh, this isn't looking good. Well, we do have the acid mushrooms. We don't have the copper, though. Looks like we're going to have to go ahead and get ourselves some copper. Yep, let's go get us some, let's go get us some copper. <clears throat> Alright, copper's in those rocks. I really want the, uh, the sea moth. It makes it a lot easier to move around. So yeah, this is gonna be a, a this is gonna be a, a, a prime directive for us to get this uh, to get this copper for the sea moth because once we get the sea moth, uh, uh, farming will be much easier. And then once we get the sub, the cyclops, it'll be all the easier. So. Somebody said that using salt uh, using salt on water uh, to make water is a waste. Just catch the air sac fish. 
Yeah, maybe, but, I mean, salt's just a lot easier, you know? And, uh, I mean, I don't always see air sac fish, and I'm kind of, like, low on water, so i probably use some more salt. And to be fair, I am finding quite a bit of salt. I thought I saw a piece of metal over here. There it is. Alright, what we got here? Some quartz, very good. Got some caves there, we gotta worry about those crash. Until we get the stasis rifle, that is. Once we get the stasis rifle, we could deal with the crash very easily. Where is the- there it is. They always put the quartz in these bushes, it's always really hard to find. Oh, crash, get out of there. Man, I can't wait to get the stasis rifle. You little sons of beeswax are really gonna get it. Oh, that's another thing. When um when I was done with the uh, the time lapse, I actually went on a little little speech about the time lapse and the way this game works. Um, did you like the time lapse? Do you want to see more of it? Do you want to see me cut out the the farming altogether? Do you not want to see this? Or is the time lapse still entertaining for you? Do you is that something you would want to see? Now keep in mind that oh, radiation not good. Now keep in mind that I'm having a hard time keeping up with my videos. I'm putting up four videos a day, and um, I'm having a hard time finding the time uh, to do farming off camera. It's becoming very difficult for me. So if you demand to see, not see the farming at all, um, that's cool and I'll do it, but <clears throat> it's gonna make the videos maybe a little bit less frequent because I only have so much time and I, you know I just can't grind that much. And I was gonna do this kind of stuff on stream, but the fact of the matter is there's a couple games on stream that are just blowing up and I can't justify playing this game. Plus, uh, you know, no, people on stream are getting a little sick of watching me do the boring parts. So, uh, yeah, so let me know. But just keep in mind that if, you know, you demand me to do all this farming off camera and, and, and you know, you don't like the time lapse, uh, that's fine. Like I said, that's cool, but it's going to, it's going to slow down. It might slow down my videos a little bit on this game. Okay, so with that out of the way. Oh, we got the fart fish. Get out of the way, fart fish. Alright. <clears throat> How much room do I have left? Yeah, let's not take any more... Ugh. I have a hard time not taking this metal because I know I'm going to need so much of it. I'm going to need five uh, plasteel ing ingots for the, the submarine. And I happen to know that a plasteel ingot is made out of titanium ingot, which is made out of ten titanium. So we need fifteen titanium right off the bat. <clears throat> for our sub. Plus, we need more of it to build our base. Again, I really wish the developers... I don't know if the developers watch my videos or not. Um, if you do, please, please, give us a reason to have a base. Um, give us, like, a, a bedroom area, maybe, like, a dining room area, something. I don't know. I don't know what you can do, but give us a reason to have the base. The underwater bases are phenomenal, and I love them, and they're beyond cool. But the fact of the matter is, you know, you make a couple rooms and then there's no reason to go on because any room you make after that is just for, you know, just for shits and giggles. And, um, you know, like I said, that could be fun sometimes, but I'd like to have a reason. Freaking stalker. Whoa, 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 okay, let's get out of here. He's really, he's really kicking my ass. I wonder if I should use my health kit. It'll take a second. I don't know, I'm going to keep swimming. Alright, let's use the health kit. Okay. Okay, whew. Man, I've never had a stalker come so close to killing me before. They are not playing around. Good time to leave anyway, I mean, I was filling up. And I did get some good stuff. I got maybe a little too much scrap iron, not enough quartz, but uh, I only got one copper, that kind of sucked. But I got, I got the air sacks, which are cool. We're definitely going to have to get more copper, though, no doubt. Alright, so let's see if we can find some more rocks around here. Uh, the, the rocks seem to be a lot more rare. A lot harder to find, so never pass up salt, by the way. I don't care what you're looking for, never pass up salt. So that fills us up. Let's get, let's get back to the base. Yeah, the rocks seem to be a little bit more rare. I don't know if I'm looking in the wrong places. I think when I get the Seamoth... It'll be a lot easier to um, to go out and like you know farm because uh, you could just pop in the sea mouth, get all your oxygen back, and everything's good to go. All right. 
All right, so let's come on over here. Let's go ahead and in order to use those, we're gonna, in order to use that, yeah. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna break up all our titanium. You know what, I'll do this off camera. I'll do this off camera. Let me just throw these in for now. And what we'll do is we'll grab these bad boys and make ourselves some water. I feel like you get too hungry and too thirsty too quickly in this game. Yeah, so I was I, I named one of my last episodes "Fishing Like a Boss," and some people were like, "Well, just wait until you get the um, the I don't know the fire knife or something. I don't know. It's a knife that's like on fire, and it basically just cooks your it like cooks your meat instantly. Sounds pretty cool. All that water gone. See, I don't know those air sac fish. I don't know, guys. I'm sorry. I do not think that's worth it. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna take some salt right now. And turn it into bleach. I disagree. I just I, I just grabbed a bunch of Arasak fish. It's not like I saw a lot of them. I mean, I did let some go, but I mean, I only let a couple go. And I came back with four in a full inventory, and that, I mean, it barely did anything for me. Again, the only thing I really need the salt for, I mean, I will need the salt for some fish if I want to go on long trips, but that's what I have my, um, that's what I have the Cyclops for. That can hold tons of stuff. All right, let's go ahead and grab these out, and let's grab uh, a couple peeper fish. We're actually have to, we're actually going to have to go fishing again too. That's what I'm saying. Like I kind of feel like I feel like the grinding in this game is a, is is just a little on the harsh side. Um, you know, I'm gonna have to go out and fish again. I fished like a video ago, so I I went one fish I went one video out fishing, and now I'm gonna be hungry again soon. So, I don't know, I think that's a little unforgiving. Okay, guys, we're going to call this one here. That is going to be it for episode four. And I'll see you next time for episode five. Till then, take it easy.